last time on Dong Naropa, Trigger Happy Havoc. Cam's gonna open it. Step, step by step, step, step by heavy step, I approach the box. Take a deep breath. And to hold, hold of the lid. Slowly, ever so slowly, I lifted it up. When I began to sneak it this way into the box, I saw the hesitant glance inside and... Uh? <laughs> Jeff's advice was no use. I let out a trembling cry. What was in the box? It was bones. Human bones. The last thing I expected to find was such a quiet, joyful box. I mean, who could have possibly imagined? And now, back to trying to ditch school. <laughs> if you just do it, that turned out okay. Last time, me and Kyoko climbed up a very long ladder and we... I mean, we never did that before that, I think. The last time we tried to retain the school, I think. <laughs> God. My brain's not working right now. Anyways, look, we tried to visit, we tried to visit in the school, and we learned that Kyoko's dad's a pile of bones, and apparently we, we did have stuff in our lockers. And when I got to class, what's up with that? And, but, let's continue the, our investigation. We go to the data lab now. I hit a look around too. Is that what you're doing here? Mm. Yeah, I can't but wonder if that not my door. Yeah. So I figured <laughs> if all the doors in the school have been unlocked, that one's to be open too, right? But I feel like I can't bring myself to open it. Well, I mean, it might explode, right? That really sucks. So you open it. I'm sure it's not me, it, but it's me. It sound like some POV getting blown up. And that's why we don't get together in the end. You know. Okay. Thanks, Mikado. That's me, I think. Alright, this is theirs. Yeah, so I guess I'll open it. Ah. Oh wait, let me get a Oh wait! Let me take cover first. I don't I don't wanna get exploded. You know, race over here by desk and hit underneath it. Okay, go ahead! Mm-hmm. Everything will be okay, right? Okay, here goes nothing. I throw my way into it, the door open much easier than I expected. There was no explosion, thankfully. My first impression was... Huh? Well, this place is totally sci-fi. Yeah, I was kind of thinking the same thing. Some kind of hats on the floor. Right now, I'm more concerned about that weird device. What is this device? It's like a kind of control panel. Hmm. It's really over the top though, like... Like some kind of military installation or something. Hmm. 
Yeah, it kind of looks like a, a big cockpit, right? I'm sure you'd probably freak out if you saw it. Cockpit? So my camera room has a control panel that looks like some kind of cockpit? Could that mean... Okay. Alright! Stop poking at it or whatever. I'm gonna start pushing buttons. Hold on! You can't just put... Just, or whatever or something like that. But it was too late. He's already jabbing it away at the control panel. Huh? Huh? Did you hear that? Yeah, I think he came into the room. Here, what did you push? <laughs> Not totally sure, but... I think it's that one, that, the button that says data center. Data center? I took a look at... I took, I took a good look at the control panel. I saw a bunch of buttons, each with the name of the room next to it. It's like Hina said, there's one labeled data center. That must be the one she pushed. Data center? That's right next door. The room we were just in. That's where the strange noise came from. I'd probably go over and check it out. Yeah! Yeah, yes please. I'm kind of scared of my mind right now, so you just... So I'll just cheer you on from over here. Thanks. Okay. Oh, gee, I'm super lucky. Right oh, over here. You feel better? Four. I don't wanna. Uh, fine. Did I just hear what I think I heard? Monokuma? Huh? Hey! Ah! Ooh, car! Give me, give me all your donuts! Is that you, Hina? What? I'm not busted! How'd you know? Say what? Hey, what is this? Kind of remote control camera kind of setup? I know what you're controlling. Hello. Well, well, I mean, I can't really see anything from here. Found it. I guess what I found. I saw the check button. Whatever you do, don't fucking push it. Too bad. Oh man. We're just gonna push it. Anyway, I guess that settles it. Remove the mod the drawing on it and the control panel inside. It. Back to the room again. Ah. Whoa, whoa, hey Makata, what the heck was that just now? Manakuma. Huh? Huh? huh what, do you, what do you mean? But you're control what you're controlling just now, it was Manakuma. Huh? Kuma? Oh. What? For reals? Yep, it looks like that panel definitely controls Monokuma. Which means the Mastermind has been controlling Monokuma from this room. Yeah, they are definitely in here. The Mastermind has been controlling Monokuma from this room. This control room is totally separate from the DS area of all the monitors. In other words... Hey. Maybe the mastermind can admire us and control Markuma at the same time. So the theory is right. But, but the mastermind can control Markuma from here. I think they've been this tool, tool this entire time, whole time, right? I guess that would have to be true. But if that is true. <laughs> Very poor looking approach. I know! Okay, now for the fun. Here's a hint. I'm sure I told you that already. For the 20th time this chapter, but this killing game began with 16 students, all of them high school students. And we keep full of the six helping single steps and hope to get since the killing game began. 
as those very same 16 students. Master of Mind, my my puppet here, it really is the 16th student. Hmm. No, it can't be. There's no way, right? My close control room has been added to the truth pool. Protect the handbook. Um. What's wrong, Toto? I don't like the face you're making. Oh, it's nothing. Uh, okay. Uh, what about you? Is everything okay? Because, I mean. Well, oh, well, it's just. I'm sort of about to mind for hiding, right? Who knows if they set cops or something? Can't say it isn't possible. I really hope, I really hope it's not true. Um... So like... So, um... I'm gonna leave soon? This looks like a place to check out. Yeah, good point. Can't yeah, all the time thing around here. Okay, you wanna get going? Yeah! Uh, no. Check it. Um... Come on, put a little train to get out of here. Fine. Um. Since the door day and was closed, I heard a strange sound. What was that? Oh, oh the door just locked on its own! What? My hand shot out to grab the doorknob. Rattle, rattle. Right, it's locked, but why? Yeah. <laughs> of course it's locked, because the data center is not restricted! Woo! Akuma? Just a second! Fair. You can just go around restricting whatever you feel like. Hey, um, it's for your benefit. So that room stays open, I'm gonna be able to move around. <laughs> That's how desperate to press everyone would get if the school mascot just sh up and stop moving. Then that room. Yep. As you may have guessed, that's where my controls are. Um, so right now, you're being operated by someone in that room? Yes, indeed! Correct the Mundo! You're a liar! Doesn't make any sense. You were just in there and you didn't see anyone. <laughs> well, you didn't, did you? Woo! Are you sure, sure you were as thorough as you could have been? <laughs> did you happen to check out a certain suspicious hatch? Yes! Three times! No way! That's in the floor? <laughs> Ooh, too bad, that was your one big chance. And you blew it. No, I did it! I checked three times! Too bad! Of course, that hat can't be opened from the outside anyway, so whatever. Hmm. Now, now then, this room is officially restricted. So no more investigating. I'm relying on you to tell the others. Yeah. <laughs> Boo! Peace. Um. He's gone, but. So um. Is that the truth? Is the mastermind really hiding in there? In fact, you think back to when we got locked out of the control room. That proves it for sure. Huh? Then when I said we should leave, well, that hatch can't be open from the outside, anyways, right? Well, it's not your fault. Sorry. Okay. Yeah, we, don't to, we don't have to let it get to us. We can stay positive and make the most of the time we have left. You're right. It's one thing I'm good at. It's one thing I'm good at is keeping my body moving. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna run around and tell everyone what we found here. Nice, you got the Elma bait again. You got it. Okay, I'm up. Check you later. He to took off a full speed. Uh, I do what I can too. So I'm going to move forward. Hmm. Not next. Um, this is a school announcement. Is everyone working hard? Is your investigation coming along nicely? Well then, since you're all giving it your best, your generous headmaster will give you a little hint. <laughs> For those of you who are interested, please make your way to the gym ASA possible. Hmm. What? Now you want to give us a hint? 
this is no doubt about that. It's gonna be a trap. Even knowing that. You should go to the gym, right? Oh, hey, hero! Yeah. I got the man! Why are you actually surprised? Uh, um... Another reason, man? You heard my Christmas announcement, right? Are you here to find out what he has to say? <sighs> aye, aye. That's it, actually. I'm on my way out, man. Can we talk to him? What do you say? I'm sorry, but... Uh -huh. I gotta go! Hero! Hero, wait, come back. There's no point in trying to stop him. He ran off like a frightened animal. Hero, whatever. It's like he's trying to avoid me. I thought I talked to him about the notebook I found in the locker. Is he hiding something this the whole time? a single photograph. It featured a bunch of faces I recognize extremely well. There's everyone that came, came to speak at the same time as me. Celeste, Mondo, Leon, Nicaro, uh, Mizono, Hagakure, Sakura, Ifumi, Taka, Junko, Kurigiri, uh, Fusasaki, Toko, Hina, and Tagami. Wait, but someone's behind Mizono. Someone I don't recognize. Wait, that's not true. I do recognize her. That's right, when Gaki and I were in the headmaster's room, we got a file. We wrote the cassava. And this girl is... What? Why? Why is Mikuro here for everyone else? And more than that... Then everyone is supposed to like... Like this is weird enough by itself. And we're all using... We're all wearing matching uniforms. I don't remember anything like that. that like this. Now that I'm looking at it, it's not even everyone. I'm not in this picture. I'm the only one not there. This picture has all 15 other students, but not me. I guess that makes sense. After all, I, don't, I don't remember taking a picture like this. I was at junior high with, with Sayaka, the first time I met everyone else, because so I arrived here at Hope Street Academy. So, so, so it's natural for me to be in this picture, but it's definitely not, definitely unnatural. Is everyone else, is that everyone else is in the picture? I thought everyone else was like me and didn't know each other until they got here. This picture is real. And could that mean, could it be everyone else or just me? Everyone here except me is... <laughs> How long are you gonna keep this up this rambling circle of yours, Hamlet? What are you gonna do? Okay, 
can get in the way staying there, you know? You know? Hmm. So, I mean, get out. But, I told you not to any questions. Unbelievable. I met you with this thief. I give you all the answers. That's totally out of left field. Duck treat, duck treat, duck, 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 that means he's done talking. Damn it. Troop photos, bad your troop bullets. Hmm. Anyway, I found the gym. It was even more confusing. Another confusion in the hand, I left the gym detected. Dejected. Huh. How this can sound as a hint? This would be even more confused. That Makin was going for? Do you put together a big photo just to confuse me? It looks so real, so full of life. How could anyone fake that? It's mean everyone but me. We have to ask everyone directly. Let's have to clear this up. No. I have to clear this up. Terrified rabbit. Here, what's wrong? Talk to him, the other guy's down. It's like he's avoiding me. He's just afraid of me. Why? I said to visit the bio lab one more time. I think I saw that when I got there. But sure passed out. Again. Huh? Toko? Toko, are you okay? No, no. She's not dead, is she? Held. So cold, I think I might catch cold. If you take take naps in a place like this, I'm sure you will. I see. What? Well, I'll sleep? I am at the faint again. Uh -huh. That you're standing there staring at me, being all excited, weren't ya? No, I wasn't. Mm -hmm. Have you reached that certain age? What? Oh, then what? Hot and barred? Stay at party? Um, okay, so while you pass out? <laughs> I don't know. What was I think I remember was you waking up just now. What did you do to Miss Melissa? Oh, that's right. Your memory stops and starts each time you switch. <laughs> Bingo, Baza! Bazinga! Bazinga! We share some basic knowledge, but our memories are very much separate. 
Doesn't seem like a bad thing. So the question as far as I'm concerned. Because even if you forget something, I totally remember. Yes. It's like double it's like double the memory. No, no, it's more like half. So the memory is after your truth bullets. But I know right now is where's my little darling? Tell me now, or I'll slit your throat. I don't know. I'm sure Byakia is do around somewhere doing his own investigation. Mm, yes, yes. But by himself? I assume so. Oh, I'm on fire! I do it. I tell I knew it. I'm a total pro when it comes to all things master. <laughs> yeah, I gotta hurry, I can't imagine how lonely he must be right now. <laughs> Saw off her eerie laughter echoing behind her. I totally forgot. But I totally forgot to ask her about the picture. Well, there's no point in asking genocide Jack and you how. Anyway, besides, I have more important things to do right now. I took a think. Got be some reason for it. The fridge—it's open. I'm sure they were shut tight last time I was here. That must be why she passed out. Right. She faints so easily. Kyoko? Makoto. It's getting late, isn't it? Are you okay? Indeed. I'm sorry if I made you worry. No, you, you don't have to apologize. Listen. It's about this room. Oh yeah, it... It would seem... It's a morgue. It's a morgue. Yeah. I knew it. I suspected as much. And Tokyo must have looked in Tokyo must have looked the fridge, seen what was there. And well, there you have it. Usage usage bang. I was I was on my way here when Genocide Jack Jill came running past me. She must have sneezed, but once I got inside, the river sink came clear. It's clear. I thought since she came here to investigate, and when she opened the slot there, that's when she saw the body inside and dropped like a bag of rocks. Why does everything have so difficult with her? Anyway. And anyway, she said, oh, 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 oh. You don't want to leave it open like that. Yeah, good idea. Give me a hand of this. Tokyo approached the fridge, hands outstretched. But suddenly she stopped. What's wrong? Listen. Maybe we should wait a second before closing it. Huh? How come? Because. Nikro's body, Nikro's body is in here. Miko's corpse? Miko's body is inside the fridge? I see. It's like, just like every other time, Master Mind probably brought it up here while we were in the class trial. The Mastermind did it? Because they assumed we wouldn't be doing the class trial over again, I guess. So... You may be right. Either way, now I can finally get a good look at good look at the body. Oh, that's right. Kyoko didn't get a chance to look at check the body during the classification. Makoto. I need to, I need to do my own examination of the corpse as soon as possible. I'm gonna find a clue this time, and I'm gonna get the mastermind by the tail. Okay, so what should I do? So then. Why don't you just wait over there? I'll let you know as soon as I'm finished. Wait over there, that's it. So I have the the blue lights are on. The lights aren't. Would seem... The blue lights come on when the slide is occupied. The blue light comes on. 
to run the number of lights on between roof rows. There's nine in all. Nine. Nine lights. There are nine lights. That's you. Two bullet text in your handbook. And yep, importantly. I tried me somewhere before. Then when I found the garden, tool shed. Remember that tarp? That bio, the bio lab. That was the tarp that was used to the camera spots of murder in the garden. The point someone got from the bio lab and took it over there. Time to add the bolts. Destroying dead bodies. Dude, yeah, I can't look inside. That's cooking with that group photo. After all, season that too. No one made a perfect investigation, but I wanted to talk to you about something. What is it? I thought that announcement might have been made earlier. <sighs> you know what about the hint or something? I, I didn't take up him up in the offer. Huh? Why not? Because. The only reason he gives a hint at this point would be to confuse us, to cloud our judgment. I can solve this mystery on my own without whatever hint he may have to offer. That's a good point. Or like to this, go back and do the same, I guess, but what then is done, I guess. Then they're looking at her. I don't think she's hiding anything from me. Is she right? Did not your mind force that picture as a trap to confuse us? That'd be it. There's no other explanation. <sighs> Okay, Makoto, I'm done. Already? Gee, that was fast. Indeed. I can do good work if they go slow. And that's spirit. I think my, my report brief. Did you find anything? Indeed. I paid careful attention to the wounds and the traces of blood. That seems highly likely that. The stomach wound and the blow to the head, back of the head, were inflicted after death. Really? The burnt tissue made things a little difficult, but I'm pretty confident in my findings. So that means either one of those was a fatal in injury, right? And what was the fatal injury? The explosive victim identity is unknown. They, they were, however, dead before the blast. The victim had been stabbed a couple times with a knife which bleed through the body. It's also been stuck in the head of an object as about as thick as a metal pipe. The body was covered with other wounds, but these were at least a, several days old. The only other option it's those other wounds, but the file says they were old. Is that right? Where does it say that, where does it say that they're old? Huh? Because... All the all the all the all the all the all the Minakata file. All the, all the, all the, all the, the file. All the Monokuma file says that, that they were inflicted at least several days ago. I guess I don't see the difference. Wrong. Well, the difference is immense, considering the impression they give. Listen. You seem to be equating several days old was simply old. However... But it's quite philologically... Old wounds make it sound like they're, they've been there forever, like they're not related to the murder. Are you saying they are? But we got the Monokuma file right after she was killed. Right? So the wounds are at least a few days old. There's no way they can have anything to do with it. So then. So what if Mikuro herself wasn't killed within the last few days? What? At the very least. Certainly you can allow it as one of the many possibilities, can't you? One of many? Right. 
detective does, has supernatural powers, there's no way to predict the answer from the, from the beginning. Instead, the, the ideal detective begins imagining as many possible, possible scenarios as they can. In other words, they envision these possibilities about prejudice, about bias, using only their logic and common sense. In the same as the gate, they test what they find against each other, these possibilities. <laughs> of course, you're telling, of course, me telling you this doesn't mean you'll be good detective work. But you can be my, my Watson. But you can be my Watson. Yeah. Beyond this, beyond using to solve, but beyond this, using that to solve this particular mystery, you should be, you should be in mind for the future. The rabbit you built. Hey. It's just in the body. Now's the time. Come to think of it, there's one thing. Earlier when I look at Rico's profile, listen to her, her height and weight. So. Seven, seven, five foot, seven inches, and seven pounds. Vitals were 20, 21, 22, 22. Like all that, right? You remember all of that? They were indeed constant with the corpse. So then, Indeed. don't forget about the finger tattoo, there's absolutely no mistake. Indeed. Our victim in this case is, without a doubt, Nukro Ikisaba. Update! And? Is that all you wanted to ask? Yeah, I think so. So then. Looks like we have no food business with Nukro's body. I think you're going, it's kind of chilly in here. Oh wait, we're not gonna we're not get the body back? You think it's kind of sad leaving you out like this? Why? Sad? You forget to was our enemy once. A part of the ultimate despair. But she still got killed. She's still a victim. Okay. Have you ever heard the phrase, you reap what you sow? Well, yeah, but still. <sighs> You really are naive, you know that? It's really quite appalling. But she could have abandoned me, but she decided to help me instead. So, so for someone like that, what does it mean to be naive? So then. I think we've done all we can do here. Like the separate reservations, yes? Oh, uh, hold on. I still have one more thing to do. I need to talk to Kyoko about. And that's her, her but the pocketbook I found in that locker. Don't do it now. Hey, Kyoko. I do have one last thing. I know I should not, but I feel like I have to ask. What? Go on, go on, go ahead then, out with it. Have you really not seen your dad even once since you got here? What? So... What do you mean? Well, you know those lockers on the second floor of the dorms? Indeed. I do, yes. But to get... But to get any of those lockers, you need the handbook of the, whoever the locker belonged to. Actually, I managed to get them open using that emergency handbook. I see. The one you found in the, the one you found in the headmaster's hidden room. And so, did you find anything worth in those lockers? I found a pocketbook, and after looking through it, I think it might be your. I think it must be your pocketbook. Why is that? Why would you say that? Because, like I said, only the locker's owner should be able to get into it, right? I can't admit those lockers belong to any of us. After all, we just got access to that area just recently. What I'm saying is that there's no way I could have had access to any of those lockers. If I did have a pocketbook, why would I bother putting it in a locker? Everything you, everything you said just makes perfect sense, but there's something written inside. With the headmaster about your father. What? If that's true. What does that mean? 
that video is real too? Video? Makoto. I think everything is finally starting to fit together. They reveal a co cohesive picture. Although, I'm afraid that picture is, might be worse than anything you could have imagined. What are you talking about? I need, to go, I need to go get those lockers right now. I need to confirm what you just said with my own two eyes. Oh, let me give you the headmaster's handbook. That way you can. So... That won't be necessary. If I'm right about this, I shouldn't have any problem opening the locker with my own handbook. After all, it would seem that it's my locker. Your locker. Dakota. If you watch this, it all makes sense. A DVD. Class 78 Urgent Interviews. This class 78 Urgent Interviews. So... I found that in the hidden room after you left. Anyway... I don't have time to explain what I think it means, so you just have to go watch it and see for yourself. I think you realize exactly what it means. You understand why you find my pocketbook in a place none of us should have ever seen before. Now this makes sense right now. I guess there's something, that means there's something important. Clue on this DVD. Lakota. Oh, and now it's my turn. You say listen to me ramble? Ramble? In other words. So as it turns So as it turns out The arrangement I made didn't stick. What I mean is I'm less and less sure of everything, even my own feelings. I'm talking about your dad, right? I never find the answers to the questions I wanted to ask for the rest of my life. All because of the mastermind. However, but there's one thing I'm I, I am sure of. When it comes to the when it comes to the mastermind, there's no room in my heart for forgiveness. I I swore to destroy the mastermind. This is just one more reason to follow through on that. Kyoko's eyes burn with the fire of determination. The fire determination to defeat the mastermind. Hmm. It's strange. It's strange to be confronted with his death and suddenly feel this way. I couldn't care less if my father had found happiness. Why? So, so why is it? So why has it bothered me to, to so much to know he suffered? It's ridiculous. I guess there's just no understanding it, I guess. She let out a small laugh as he said it. For her smile was filled with sorrow. <sighs> So that's it for my rambling. There's still much I can do before I can consider my task complete. Yeah, you're right. Hey. But keep this in mind. There's only ever one absolute truth. Whether that truth serves justice or suffering, or if it's the greatest truth or the worst. What do you mean? Makoto. Even if the truth you uncover is filled with hopelessness, you still can't give up hope. Absolutely not, because... Because all I can do is keep moving forward. That's pretty much all I'm good at, you know? <laughs> Indeed. Sorry, that was strange. So then. Anyway, I need to get going. I'll see you at the class trial. Leaving behind that final farewell. Kyoko was gone. I got it going myself. I got a DVD from Kyoko. That's a Davy room. Check it out. Kyoko says something about the hopeless truth. You know what happened? I won't lose hope. Even if, even if it's the worst truth in the world. I can't afford to lose.
see if I'm gonna play DVD just fine. Well then I better take a look. I took the DVD Kyoko gave me and put it in the player. It said it was playing, but nothing appeared on the screen. I stared in the plaque of the monitor. Was it, was it only been a few seconds? But to me it felt like an eternity. And then all of a sudden, an image appeared. Was that no? It took me totally by, it took me by total surprise. I hadn't seen her face in who knows how long. And there she was. Okay then, are you ready to begin? What I heard was that the man positioned on one of the one side of the screen. He was a middle-aged man. I do apologize, but I hope you don't mind if I record our conversation. I'm a little slow, you know. I never really got the hang of taking notes while having a conversation. It's not like he was trying to make a, a joke, but, but her tense face didn't a single millimeter. So this video is meant to serve as a kind of contract substitute. It's not that I don't trust you guys. It's more like insurance. So please don't worry too much. Now then, let me get straight to the point. There is a chance that you may have to spend the rest of your life here in the school. Can you accept that? Uh, um... You want me to ex You want me to accept that? Sayaka was a- was obviously a total loss. It made total sense. Who would agree to spend the rest of your life in the, in the school? Hi. Thank you. And I'm sorry about all this. Well, I can promise you that I will do everything in my power to keep you safe. As the headmaster of Hope's Peak Academy, I give you my word. As if I'm cute, that's what the video cut out. I don't understand up until now, but this, only this. I simply couldn't comprehend what I heard. I knew how much was under one of the gallop here. I knew how much he wanted to, es to escape and pursue her dreams with her friends again. She wanted that so bad, she tried to frame me for murder. So why? Why would she say yes to living here for the rest of her life? I sat there thinking about it, I noticed a sudden light. On the monitor, the view I thought was finished flashed back on screen. I started back on the screen. And, and if I was confused before, I saw next must be right over the edge. Huh? Well, I saw it was me. And possibly, undeniably, me! So, Makoto, before we begin, I should let you know that I'll be recording our conversation. Yes. Me and the headmaster are looking at each other. You know, we're having what seems like a fairly normal conversation. But I, the I in the here and now, I have no memory of it. I had no memory of even meeting the headmaster, much less sitting down to talk to him like now, this. Shall we get straight to the point? Makoto, there's a chance you may have to spend the rest of your life here in the school. Can you accept that? Yes. This can't be real. I said, yes? I'm sorry I'm putting you through all this. Well, I mean, we don't have much of a choice, do we? But I promise that as long as you're in this school, I will do everything I can to protect you. As the headmaster of Hope's Peak Academy, 
That's the very least I can do for you. I'm getting the video cut out. From there, the video repeated the same scene again and again with the others. Yakia. Toko. Hina. Everyone. They all said they agreed, they, they agreed to live in the school forever. And then... Yoko. Interview with him has been recorded just as clearly. Without well, doubt, she had met him. She, she sat down with the headmaster of her speak academy, her father. And when she and we asked her this, his question, she answered the same as everyone else. So she accepted a life within the school. This is Kyoko's interview was wrapping up. The monitor suddenly went black. Huh? It was the monitor. The DVD player itself had apparently turned off. So it was, of course, meant the DVD wasn't playing anymore. What the heck just happened? Say what? Oopsie! Look at Brooke! Out service! What? So it just so happens to break now? Too bad! Now, now then, what does it matter? Killer can strike it anywhere, anytime! <laughs> what the hell you're is, right? Oh, you're my ass. You cut the power on purpose. Well, whatever. You might watch the same whole thing. It's more the same. Guess in the question, they just say, all say yes. I couldn't help myself. I let a huge experience shot aside. But as I did, I remember something. That's right. I could have too. When I woke up, there was a, same, a strange feeling of separation within myself. A disconnect. It would seem. Thinking back, thinking back on it now, at that point my, my memory was gone. At that time, I'd forgotten. I can't remember why I came to the school, and I couldn't remember what my ultimate ability was. What we'll, we'll makes you forget all that? Hey. Strange, isn't it? It's hard to think. It's hard to imagine it happened by chance. It seems much too convenient. Giving you an outcome. I mean, it seems obvious it's worked in favor of the mastermind. Does that mean I lost my memory too? What about the others? Have you all forgotten? Or. FD is updated. Perfect timing. For anything that has a start, there has to be an end. And if the end comes, then that means it's time for a fresh start. There is no night that doesn't have a dawn. Although that dawn is totally pitch black. There is no storm that won't eventually end. Of course, then that leads to drought. But as I said, every end is the promise of a new beginning. Which is why I'm sure we'll get to meet again. Because the end is only the beginning. Anyway, let's get started. The beginning of the end of the class trial! Everyone gather once again at you know where! <laughs> Let's begin again. Class trial is going to start. The final class trial. The last... The last time all our lives will be on the line. The last time hope and despair are on the are on the line. I don't have a choice. I have to do this. Okay then. This is the end. This is the end. If we go to the final door, let's go to the doors. One final time. One last time. 
is a trial of life, a trial of death. Will you be here for the conclusions? The, the finale of this thing? Or the penultimate, probably? It's probably a two-parter. Probably a two-parter ending. Maybe it might be more. I don't know. But until then... Never, st never stop learning and enjoy the randomness. I'll see you next time. I'll see you then. Bye-bye.